One little, two little, three little plants, and a four little, five little, six little plants, seven little, eight little, nine little plants, ten little plants, yes ma'am. Hey y'all, it's Sarah. Today I am showing off my new plant that I got for Christmas for my sister-in-law. This is my Hoya Linares. It's been on my wish list for quite some time. I've been a good girl and I haven't been buying as many plants as I usually do, mostly because I'm tired of watering them. Speaking of which, I need to water about 10 to 15 plants today. So I'm going to show you watering this one along with a lot of other favorites of mine today. Okay, so y'all probably know that I am thrilled to have another Hoya to added to my collection. Look at the leaves on this Linaris. Aren't they so peculiar and neat? I really like them. They're kind of fuzzy, but definitely time to water it. Um, the soil is pulling away from the sides. It's very light. Let's go ahead and give it a good watering. So when I'm watering my Hoyas, I am letting them soak for a while so that they can suck it all up because I wait a while before I'm gonna water it again. I'd like for it to just stay in that tray and let it soak up for a little while. So today I'm gonna to water all my Hoyas first because I'm gonna let them sit in their water for a momento. Here's another favorite. Look, oh yeah, you remember when I did that? What are you doing? Okay, so this is a Hoya Exotica, very light. I'm gonna water it now. I really like the Hoya Exotica with all the variegations on the leaves. Variegations, variegations, look how cool they are. There's, that'll be pink show up in this one. I'm thinking this is the one that people call Crimson Queen sometimes too. Oh, peekaboo. But when I bought it, it was labeled Hoya Exotica. So that is what I call it. So I'm gonna saturate it real good. Okay, just drip, drip, dripping. I'm gonna let it set in the water for a minute. Moving right along. This is another cool one. This is my Hoya Wayetti. No variegations here. These could all use a nice hosing off, but it's kind of late in the day for that. I don't feel like I have enough sunlight to dry off the leaves before it gets dark. So I'm just gonna water them because they're real thirsty. But Wayetti's really cool with these little skinny leaves. All right. Okay, drip drop, let it set. You'll probably know this bad boy. Look at this cool leaf on this pubicalyx splash. This is another Hoya, and this one needs water all the dang time. But I'm trying to keep all my Hoyas on the same schedule. Hi, I'm back here if you need me. So I'm gonna water it. Did not bloom for me this year. Shucks. Oh well. But I think I'm going to repot it in the spring just because I shouldn't be having to water it all the time. I'm over it, I'm over it. But it'll get a yellow leaf and drop and have a, have a tood with me. Attitudial problem. So I'm just gonna repot it and see what goes. Not now, I won't. I will not do it now. All right, I'm gonna let it set in this water. Well, this one's got a little tinsel on it. Merry Christmas. Okay, so this is my Hoya Tricolor. Very cool. New growth comes in nice and pink. I really like this one a lot. And it grew quite a bit this year too. So this one's another one that could use a, a nice dusting. So I'm watering all of these with some warm water since it's winter. 
All right. This is a pretty one, y'all. Love this. Come on down here, everybody. This is a newer Hoya for me. This is the Hoya Gracilis. Pretty cool looking. These new leaves will come in pink as well. So pretty. I like this one. I think you're out of water in this one, so we'll move on to this. Let it all sink down. Do it again. All right. Go sit. Go sit in it, Gracilis. Most beautiful. This next one kind of reminds me of the tricolor a little bit, but it is different. The leaves are slightly different. Probably the blooms are going to be what really distinguishes the two, but I haven't had them bloom yet. Oh, here's some new growth on this. Have I said the name of it? Probably because I'm scared I'm going to say it wrong. Hoya macrophilia? Macrophiliage? I will write it on the screen. I do not know. I've been calling it Hoya Mac because I'm not afraid to say that. So, a lot of golden retriever hair on this one. So, I like to think that that provides some nutrition for my Hoyas. Yeah, right. What ifs? All right, I'm gonna let it set in this. How many plants have I, have I done now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Might as well make it an even 10, right? Right, sorry, Linares. Ooh, well, give this Linaris a little more. It's already drank up that water in the bottom of its tray. You need water too. Y'all probably seen me mess with this. This is one of my propagations from this year, but I just love the philodendron lemon lime. I love it. It's so pretty. I love it. So it needs some water too. It's not like my Hoyas need to sit in it necessarily. Um, and this one needs to be watered quite a bit more. Well, hello, fungus gnat. The bane of my existence. I'll deal with you later. So just as long as it's running all the way through, I'm happy with that. Okay. I must be overwatering it. All right. Well, here's my philodendron Brazil. Another one of my philodendron favorites. This is just a tiny lass, but cool leaves on this. Always really like the way this looks. Um, another propagation from this summer. You can tell it's in desperate need of some water, how it's pulling away from the side like that. So, yeah, I figured it'd run through pretty quickly. It was pretty dry. That's not very nice of me. Philodendrons don't really want to dry out. But it is what it is, living in this house with me. Survival of the fittest, know what I'm saying? All right, all right, you're good. And then here's another one, propagation from this summer. This is a Pothos Golden Globe. Look at those leaves, so pretty. Y'all, I love my plants. I love your plants too. I just, I love, I love plants. I was talking to my cousin today about her and her orchids. Now there's a plant that I do not get along with. I can't figure them out. So maybe one of these days I'll have a nice family friendly orchid story for y'all. But as of right now, they cause me to cuss. The pothos don't make me cuss, so. Y'all, I'm not real, I'm, an, I'm not a big cusser. So, anyways, I get rid of those plants if they make me do that. I think that's 10 plants that I've watered. All right, let's call it a day. Thanks for watching my video. Thank y'all so much for subscribing. It really does mean a lot. Thank you for liking my videos. Thank you for watching. I'll see y'all next week. Bye. La 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 Neris. La 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 Linaris, Linaris, Hoya, Hoya, Linaris.